Beam down smoke. The history of CSGO skins is both vast and complex. Some skins have sold for as much as a decent house costs in today's market. Today's video will take a look at some of the most profitable investments you could have made if you were a smart time traveler and the reasons behind such insane gains. Strap in because you're really going to wish you had a time machine after this one. Now unfortunately with the way that investments work there is going to be a bit of a restriction on this video in terms of how we're going to analyze these investments. So the first thing we're going to have to do is make sure that every single thing that we talk about on this video is actually active on the Steam Marketplace, meaning you could go to the Steam Marketplace and buy the item for that price that I list in the video right now. That means items that are too expensive to be on the Steam Marketplace likely won't be included simply because they are too expensive and too hard to access accurately price and track for this accurate video. But wait, do you want to become an extremely efficient investor and buy skins at the lowest prices possible to increase your profit margins to the skies? Well, go check out skinbay.com using my link in the description below. It'll really support me quite a lot and they have a beautiful UI and great discounts on all skins. If you do decide to buy some stuff on Skinbay, go ahead and tag me on Twitter at NaloVideo and I can check out your tweet and let you know what I think. So guys, thank you so much for all the support, and thank you for using my link if you decide to do so. Let's get straight into this video. The primary spot on our list, number 5, is going to the Op Lightning Strike. This is an item that a lot of people consider to be fairly basic in terms of its design, but a lot of people still love it as one of the greatest items in CSGO history. Now this item did start very, very long ago from one of the earliest collections, the CSGO Weapon Case 1 and it started at a medium price of around $10, and I can guarantee you nobody thought it was going to reach the price it is today at around a whopping $150, meaning this item has gained over 150% of its current value. This is an incredible item and would have been an incredible investment to sit on for a long period of time. I think one of the main reasons this item sold for so cheap back in the day is because people didn't really understand the potential of skins in general. They were a very new thing to CSGO and I don't think a lot of people could have predicted such an insane marketplace occurring and cropping up out of basically nowhere. Now, if we look at Covert Ops today, we can see they go for minimum prices of around $50 in field tested condition, and these old Covert Ops like this one was probably seen to not be anything too crazy. However, I guess the only people laughing now are the ones who sat on it for this long period of time and made so much money. Regardless, the Op Lightning Strike is currently today seen as one of the most OG skins in the game and also is, of course, one of the best objective investments, gaining you a value of over $140 if you would have held on to it to the current day. The next item on our list, the number 4 spot, is going to go to one of the items that, again, a lot of people probably didn't see being very expensive, and that is the Glock 18 Fade, a very basic item featuring one of the most insane finishes that has ever existed in CSGO, one of the most legendary finishes of course, and the item actually was only worth around $15 when it first came out, and only sold for a medium price of around $15 when it first came out. However, quite a big jump from the Op Lightning Strike, the Glock 18 Fade is currently worth around $700 in factory new condition, maybe even a little bit more at this point, and it's just going up. One of the main reasons the Glock 18 Fade is so expensive is because it came out in the Parker Assault Collection so many years ago. It was one of the very first collections ever released in CSGO, along with seven others that will also be up on the screen right now, and this is one of the best items from all of them. The Desert Eagle Blaze is also a very notable item from these early collections, but the Glock 18 Fade takes the case is one of the most legendary skins released from this era of CSGO. It will forever go down in history, I believe, as one of the coolest skins in CSGO and one of the most legendary to stumble upon in-game. If you were lucky enough to purchase the Glock 18 Fade back for its earliest median price of $15 USD and you were to hold it all the way up until today, you would have made 47 times your money, which is an absolutely crazy return, and you would have made over $700. Moving along to the number 3 spot, we have one of the most controversial skins in all of CSGO right now, and that's the AK-47 Fire Serpent. A lot of people don't believe that the artwork looks all that great, and there are some people that do actually have eyes and think the artwork looks amazing, like me. So with that being said guys, the AK-47 Fire Serpent is an absolutely incredible skin and a great investment if you were to buy it back when it was only around $40 in its factory new condition. It was about a $40 skin because it is from one of the earliest collections, the Bravo Collection. And that is one of the earliest cases as well, and also the first operation ever released in CSGO. So a very historical skin and definitely stands at the top of that collection itself. It, in factory new condition, it goes for around $1,200 right now and you can buy one on the Steam Market, in fact, it's not actually off the market, 
and if you were to buy it back all the way when it was around a median price of $40, you would have made a profit of 30 times your money and a profit of around $1,150. The Fire Serpent is still rising in price, of course, to this day, and it is very hard to get. One of the reasons for the Fire Serpent in factory new condition especially being so expensive is because the float is actually capped at .06, which makes it extremely hard to get this item in factory new condition, and you can only get it with a minimum of .06 float, and you can't get anything crazy like a double zero float Fire Serpent. The wear on the skin actually matters quite a lot, and having a lot more scratches on the skin is going to increase with wear, so that means that having a very good condition one is a lot more desirable. The float cap factor, combined with the expensiveness of the case itself, and also just the OG history of the skin, is why it deserves such a high price, and also because the artwork looks amazing and everybody that doesn't think so is probably blind. Now we move on to the number two spot, which is one of my favorite skins of all time, and the skin I'm still hunting after to this day, and that is the M4A4 Howl. When you think of insane CSGO skins, one of the first ones to come to mind is obviously this extremely rare contraband item, and you can actually still find them on the market in field testing condition for around $1,800, which is just absolutely crazy in my opinion. This is one of the most legendary and historical items in all of CSGO, and it appears in pretty much any crazy high tier artwork that you see. Believe it or not though, the Howl actually used to sell for an insanely low median of around $30 and is now currently around $1,800 in field tested condition on the Steam community market, which is why I'm actually mentioning this one because of the earlier restriction of the skins having to be on the Steam community market. So we all know the story of the Howl, but if you're unacquainted with it, basically the main reason why this skin is so expensive is because the creator of the Howl itself that was involved with the making of it was actually stealing artwork from other people, so the item had to have its artwork changed and it was given the contraband status. Valve has been a little bit weird about giving things the contraband status and has kind of relegated it to just the Howl itself, which I guess increases the lore and the rarity of the skin and the skins related to it, and that's why it is so cool to own one of these items, and it's also so cool to have this in the game. If you were lucky enough to buy this item back when it was around $30, you would have made an absolutely incredible $1,750 roughly, and that is if you sell the item for CSGO items of course, and that means you would have made around 60 times your money, which is just absolutely insane. This of course is one of the most legendary investments in CSGO history, and it's one that a lot of people wish they could go back in time to buy. Now finally we come to the number one spot on our list, and the reason this one is actually at number one spot, despite the restriction I put on the video, is just because these were just absolutely insane profit margins and crazy multipliers in terms of your money. So that's why they're actually the number one spot despite being an exception to the rule that I put at the beginning of the video. Maybe think to yourself, what is so insane that it actually ignores a rule on this list? Well, that's actually going to be Keta Vite 2014 tournament stickers. Pretty much all of them have just been incredible returns. Some of them even costed under a dollar. That means literally pennies for some absolutely insane stickers that are worth hundreds thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars to this day. Now the thing about the Katowice 2014 stickers and the reason all of them are included in this number one spot is because pretty much every single one of them has just had an absolutely insane return. And if you were to just buy a whole bunch of these capsules even, those capsules are worth around $2,000, which is crazy. And if you were to even just get paper stickers and buy a bunch of those, you still would have made an insane amount of money. And that's why all Katowice 2014 stickers are actually number one on this list. The most legendary one of these, of course, being the I Buy Power Hollow, which you could have bought as low as $30. $36 on the Steam community market back in the day when they first came out, and if you were to sell them today for skins, you could make around $17,000 which is just absolutely mind-boggling. If you were to sell it for cash, that means even just raw PayPal, you would still make around $11,500, which is just absolutely insane. These were one of the most incredible investments overall, and even if you bought the cheap ones like the LDLC, you could have got those for just a matter of cents, and you would have made so much money to this day, which is why these are just such a legendary item in CSGO history. Now, there's a lot of reasons why Katowice 2014 stickers are so expensive to this day, two of the main ones though being the first one, as they are such an old sticker. These were from one of the earliest tournament collections ever, and that's actually one of the main factors for why their quantity is so low and why they have such high prices due to that. But one of the other main factors, and also one of the main reasons why I believe that real world investors don't have a very good idea of how the CSGO market works, and that's because they just look insane. The LDLC Hollow, the I by Power Hollow, those are absolutely incredible stickers, and they look absolutely insane in game and they have very good hollow effects. And those are all factors for their price, in fact. Because if you look, there's actually older tournaments that occurred, like the DreamHack 2013 tournament, that did have stickers related to the tournament and exclusive to the tournament itself, 
but those stickers are applied on weapons and are actually not even worth close to what these Cat of 2014 stickers are worth, and that's because they don't look very good. They're small and not very desirable, and that's actually why these Cat of 2014 stickers are so expensive, and that's because they look so incredible. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your stay, and also make sure you let me know if the mic change was a good one. This is actually the mic that I've been using for a while, but I changed some settings on it, so hopefully it makes my voice sound more crisp and clear. I definitely think it does. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to leave me a like below to let me know that you thought this video was good and you want to see more content like it in the future. And also consider subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications to get all the latest investment tips and also to have more video content like this pop up in your recommended feed. I would really appreciate it if you went ahead and did that and I really do appreciate all of your support as we make our way to 4,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys so much for all the support in this video. Be sure to, of course, use my skin bay link in the description below if you want to have some incredible investment ideas and also some incredible prices on those investments. I thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for coming and spending your time watching this with me today. And I will see you all next time. Peace.